Hey, what is up, guys? Guitaro here. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius War of the Visions video. All right, today I'm gonna teach you guys a trick that I just found out recently. Uh, have been trying to play this game for a couple of days. Battle is a bit long. All right, probably you guys know that <laughs> if you try to do a, a battle in this game, try to auto all the way, it takes very long. Especially if you're free to play, you don't have that. 2x speed all right so what do i mean by that if you guys did not know this if you hit over right here all right so where the royal points are so right here you can see i am royal rank one so all free to play players should be able to unlock at least the royal rank one and you should have the 1.5x speed function unlock all right so this is something that's easily achievable so once you go high of course i believe at royal rank six if i'm not mistaken Oh, Royal Rank 8. If you go all the way up to Royal Rank 8, you will have the 2.0 speed function unlock. Alright, so you can pay to win. Okay, this is what turns off uh, a lot of players because uh, why aren't they giving you the 2x speed at the beginning, right? Why is it like locked behind this Royal Rank function benefits thing? So it's something that saddens me at first, right? I, When I first saw this, I was like, wow, like this is just... Why are they doing this? It doesn't make sense. But then again, if you look carefully, you should be able to get up to Royal Rank 8 easily. If you do your dailies every single day, you will have the ability to get 10 Royal Points every single day if you completed all the missions all the way to the end for the daily missions right here. It says Royal Points 10. Alright, granted that if you play the game every day, do your dailies every day, and obviously it's gonna take months, right? It's not going, it's not something that's gonna be happening in just a couple of weeks. It will take months for you to reach Royal Rank 8. Okay, so by default, I think I did not mention earlier, if you go, if you play the story up to chapter one, the last stage of chapter one, scene one, all right, this particular one, I think it's the, I think it's this one right here, prove your worth. So if you manage to complete this particular mission, Part 1, Chapter 1, Scene 1, Prove Your Worth, you will be greeted with 100, I believe 100 or was it 1000 Royal Rank points. So that should be able to, if you claim it in your missions, make sure to claim it in your missions as well. Once you have uh, cleared the game, you don't have to 3 star at that stage. Don't worry about 3 star. As long as you cleared it, go over to missions right here. Alright. And then head over right here to the milestone. So it should appear somewhere here that you have unlocked that particular stage. I can't show it anymore because I've already claimed mine. Can you show like the completed one? Uh, yeah, somewhere here. Okay, this is it. So clear chapter one, scene one, prove your worth. So you get 300 royal points, right? So that 300 royal points should be enough for you to reach royal rank one and unlock the 1.5 uh, speed for you. So this particular thing, once you claim it, you have to come here and claim it. If you don't claim it, you won't reach Royal Rank 1 and you won't be able to get that 1.5x speed. So make sure to come here. Remember, go to missions. All right, it's a bit confusing. Go to missions right here on the top corner right there. You can see you can scroll left and right, scroll right, and then you have to claim it from right here. All right, it's a bit tricky. Like the interface is kind of hidden in a way. All right, if you're not used to the interface, you won't know where to find it. Alright, so once you have done that, you will have 1.5x speed unlock for you. So what happens is, you go right here, into any mode, story mode. Okay, so let's just show you guys an example. I'm going to play this stage right here. This is part 1, chapter 2, scene 1. So, first things that you want to do is right here, the auto. You gotta, of course, make sure it's on. I mean, make sure to on this if you're farming, but you can on or off this, it doesn't matter, depending on whether you are farming, you just want to auto the stage or you want to play it manually. But right here in the battle settings, at the bottom left, this is where you need to set it. All right, speed up, look at this. You will have the 1.5x unlock for you. All right, so by default, it's off. So now you will have the option to go to 1.5 times speed. Now, if you don't toggle it here, if you go into the battle, every time you go to the next battle, it's, it resets for you. It, just, it can be very annoying. So make sure to toggle it right here in the battle settings itself. Always turn it up in 1.5x speed. And then maybe I think you need to restart your game as well because the first time I did this, it reverts back to, to the normal speed. Once I done the stage, when I go to the next battle, it seems to revert back to the, to the 1x speed, which is a bit annoying. 
all right so make sure to come here and toggle it on and there you have your 1.5 x speed all right so now if you try to do a battle you will have a slight improved speed okay so right now i am just auto wing the stage you can clearly tell so on the top right you can see there's two buttons one is auto one is the 1.5 x speed all right so if you toggle the 1.5 x speed off so this is the regular speed you can see how slow that is so 1.5 x speed is a significant improvement okay so we're gonna turn it back on whenever i have the chance to like right now boom okay so look at how fast this is but notice that we can still if you guys notice one thing we can still make the game faster all right so what am i talking about i'm not talking about being paid to win and being going up to royal rank 8 and unlock the 2x speed no 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 i'm not talking about that there's one way for you to improve your auto speed even faster all right so i'm going to show you guys right after this okay we're going to return to embark screen i'm going to show you guys a settings that a lot of you might have been noticing oh we just got a reset right there all right so reset date okay so we are back here uh in this particular what do you want to call this embark screen all right this is what it's called apparently so part one chapter two scene one so again same battle settings that you have to go to click on these battle settings right here so right now you can see there's ability effects right here so this is the last trick that you should do if you guys are autoing a stage all right if you are playing the auto just farming your your dailies just doing your routine and stuff so just turn this off because most of the time you will not be right there watching your attack animation goes off and some of you guys know attack animations can take forever so depending on what your allies what your units are doing all right so sometimes they are just casting uh trying to uh, perform a, a support ability sometimes they try to cast aspers you know especially you have plenty of aspers so those can take a ton so granted that you have the option to do not use abilities so this is something that i don't recommend especially if you are new maybe in the future once you get stronger and you're farming stages that are way easier then maybe you can do that that's going to make uh your auto battles much faster as well because casting abilities usually takes a little bit of time so there's some animation involved but you can just turn off the ability effects right here and therefore now your battle is going to be way smoother so i'm going to show you guys what i mean by that okay so now we have 1.5 x speed no attack animation look at that we are just going away so yeah normally king all day right there and lilith right there she would like raise her sword and stuff so that take a couple of maybe not a couple of seconds but some milliseconds it might take it took some time all right it takes some time so right now that is completely being eliminated look at that no attack animation so it makes everything way faster granted that it it makes the battle looks a bit bland but but again this is not something that you are doing most of the time um it's just for you to when you're out the stage you can always turn it back on if you want to but it's just that when you want to go for a grind fest just auto a couple of stages over and over and over again turning off the abilities it helps a ton especially if you are in the mid game i'm going to assume once some of you are past the the beginner stage like you're going to the, to the mid game or some sort you have lots of aspers right so especially when your units start casting aspers over and over again so it can be the animation can be a bit tedious so you have to completely turning it off is going to help you a ton so at the beginning maybe not much because your characters your units might not have much skills to use uh, most of them most of the time they'll be using regular attacks over and over again but one, once you have plenty of abilities unlocked you have like plenty of aspers equipped so that's when this is going to like help improve your your daily significantly all right it's going to help you save a ton of time so this is something that i figured out uh have been playing this game for a couple of days so definitely i can see a bunch of improvements in saving my time look at that i just i did a cast for the the cactua i think 1000 needles bam it just appeared right there 1000 numbers appear on the screen and that's about it there's no like the cactua coming out and doing the animation and stuff like that so definitely a big help all right so make sure if you are free to play and you don't have the 2x speed unlock you have 1 1.5x speed that's fine right use this to your advantage it's going to speed everything up indefinitely it's definitely a big help at least to me all right so let me know what you guys think let me show you guys what we have in the shop all right this will last for a couple more days so if you guys are new to the game now is a good time to constantly grab them um i'm sure all of you guys know about this already if you go to shop right here 
okay so there are plenty of things for you to buy so this is the regular shop the normal shop so you can choose to buy most of the time i'll be buying the shards but i don't think i'll be building zazan yet so we're going to skip that anything good though sometimes there are some orbs like this one if this was a blue blue one i would have purchased it because that's what i need so nothing here so if you go to beginner's shop uh remember beginner's shop is very good so go to beginner's shop and buy as many things as you can obviously this one you need to have paid uh, crystals paid diamonds so i'm not gonna buy that but the skip ticket please please buy this this is like so good man this is insane you're getting uh, 10 of it for 10,000 gills like it's literally worth nothing same goes for this all right so buy this expedition ticket and you should be buying everything else i'll buy that later uh need to save up some some gills some gold but make sure you're buying that and of course we have the release commemoration shop this is the featured unit shop so this one make sure to buy it every day it's literally free cost zero zero nothing so just buy it for free this one is the thing that i really need it's a bit expensive but i'm going to buy it anyway it helps because if you want to upgrade your job from uh, the higher class ones you will need plenty of those but yeah uh of all of these things i don't think you can buy all of this right like because it's gonna cost you at least like three to four million just buy what you need i do have stern though so i might consider buying stern's uh stern's shards from here it's gonna help me significantly so i do have stern still have not yet built him gilgamesh is very very expensive i i've heard that the japanese players talk about gilgamesh that everything that he needs is 2x the normal unit so he's more for for pay to win players i guess everything is much more expensive right here 40 shards of him you need 4000 4,000 uh, V-Shards or Diamonds as opposed to 2,000 and to clarify some of your doubts uh, buying Shards will it unlock the units for you? no it will not Shards are just Shards in this game buying plenty of Shards will not unlock them uh, you can't combine the Shards and make units out of it so if you don't have the unit buying the Shards won't give you anything so make sure you only buy the Shards once you have the units available alright so that's something that you have to keep in mind Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Just a trick, a uh, neat little feature or guide for you guys to hopefully take advantage of. Some of you might have noticed this and that's fine, but it's just more for those new players who are not yet familiar with the interface and things or whatnot. Hopefully this will help you guys out. Okay, so if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.